If you're like me, you may have been working from home for the past couple years. If you thought about getting a standing desk to improve your setup, but you take a look at the online retailers and think, man, this is crazy, these prices are insane, then I've got the right video for you. This is the cheapest standing desk build of 2023. So there are basically three components that go into this desk build. The frame, the tabletop, and the wheels. The wheels are optional, but I wanted to build a desk that I could move around my office to change things up from time to time. One thing I quickly realized when researching standing desks from some of the top retailers online was that they all pretty much look and function the same way. Some companies throw on their own little marketing twist on why they make the desk a little bit better, but truly there's no difference. This is what made me think I could just buy the frame on its own to save some money, then pair it with a simple tabletop. There is one key difference I did notice when doing my research, and that's the difference between single and dual motor standing desks. Overall, the main benefit of having a dual motor setup is that it goes up and down faster, can handle a little bit more weight, and is quieter. The cost difference wasn't huge between these options, so I opted to go with the dual motor frame, and I chose this specific frame from Amazon because it had a ton of reviews, it was cheap, and it came in two color options, black or white, which is the variation that I wanted for my office. Now at the time of purchasing this frame, I think I got it for around $220, but it has since increased to $259 at the time of recording this video. As for the tabletop, this is where you can get as creative as you'd like. You can go the cheaper route, which is what I did, and choose a desktop from Ikea, or you can pick up a butcher block from places like Home Depot or Lowe's, or even build your own custom desktop if you're feeling extra creative. Now, eventually I would love to do my own custom desktop, but for now I opted to get a $70 desktop from Ikea. As you can see here on the website, there are many different options available to fit your style, but I went with the Skarsta, which seems to be either out of stock or discontinued at the time of recording this video. Finally, I wanted to pick up wheels to move this baby around my apartment from time to time, and this isn't necessary, but it caused me the most headaches to try and get the right wheels to fit my desk frame, and it eventually worked out. I started by trying to order some wheels that were compatible with the autonomous desk frame, but those stems for the actual bolts were too small. Some of the others were too big. Finally, found these ones on Amazon. Here's the link to it if you're interested in them. The installation itself was super easy and honestly really fun for me to do. This isn't one of those DIY projects where you need to have professional tools to assemble everything. It can all be done with a simple drill as well as the hardware that comes included with both of the components. The first thing that I did was unbox and assemble the frame itself. The instructions were super intuitive and everything in the box came packaged perfectly. Um, you can choose the size of the frame to fit the tabletop that you choose. So I was able to measure this out to fit the 72 inch Ikea table that I chose. Once the frame itself was assembled, I was simply able to attach a few screws to the tabletop itself and begin wiring a power strip to the bottom of the desk so that I could plug everything in and only have one actual wire going to the wall. This ensures that everything that's on top of the desk just plugs into one place, and then you only need that single source going to the wall. If you want to get the same power strip that I bought, I've left a link to it in the description. I also had to get creative with my monitor's power supply, so I ended up mounting these sort of L brackets on the bottom and zip tying it to the power supply itself. It's a little janky, but it works perfectly. So finally, at this point, I was able to do a little bit of cable management, which isn't perfect, but I tried to keep things relatively tidy using additional zip ties and Velcro. I've now been using this desk for about nine months. I've had no issues with it whatsoever, and everything still looks and feels like it's brand new. The desktop itself is super durable and easy to wipe down should you get any spill on it, or if you leave those coffee cups there for a little too long and they get rings. Um, as for the frame, it's also very durable and I've had no issues putting all my computer equipment directly on top and it easily moves around as I needed to. So that's the cheapest standing desk setup that I've been able to come up with. The total cost right now is about $350 and you may be able to find some components for a little bit cheaper if you search around on Amazon. One of the key things to note when you think about the $350 price tag is that when compared to competitors who have things listed at $800 or more, this seems like a complete bargain. And for something that is so durable and also has the dual motor setup, to me, it's a no brainer. Also, it allows you the flexibility to customize the desktop as you see fit, get as creative as you want to, and even throw these wheels on here, which are included in the price that I've stated. Let me know if you have any other questions about this build or want to see other parts of my current desk setup. See you guys.